One of those special events is, of course, the Jubilee pageant, which takes place on Sunday. Today in Epping, BMX riders, dancers and circus performers held a full dress rehearsal. On the day, they performed picnic tables stretching 500 metres. And after years of social distancing and restrictions, the town is looking forward to a right royal party. Martin, you laugh at that one, you mind. <laughs> but what, what do your mates um, think as well? And, and your family? And they must be super proud. Senior correspondent Ron K. Phillips reports it's a street party with a royal connection going right back to the coronation. This time is celebrating the last 70 years of pop and musicals. Only one man can take charge of so many decades of musical theatre, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, of course, where he's been talking to our report. Four people have appeared in court charged with breaking COVID lockdown. Well, I am back with the latest after IT TV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the so many outdoor events planned for the next four days, we'll be hoping for less of the wet weather we saw at the start of the week. Here's Philippa with that all important forecast. 100 decibels, and that is 30 times more than the legal limit. Those drivers can expect £100 fines to follow. But as our political correspondent Simon Harris reports, that's not. The government's had no appetite for more rules after the Lacanel House fire in 2009. That was the view of one of the top civil servants responsible for fire safety at the time of the Grenfell fire. Louise Upton admitted she didn't have the technical expertise. She gave evidence to the inquiry today. Rags Martel reports. And that's it. We're back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.